We're rolling. Hi, John. Saturday, 30th of August, 2040. Simon Roundtree and James Brown, owners of 61 Cook Street. I will be coming to see you on Monday to give you this notice for you to vacate the property because it has a problem with its title. And I know you would have been well aware of us having interest in that land since you bought it. It's been all over the world, on the internet, since 2009 when we registered our interest in it as the original landowners here uh, in Auckland. That took some effort uh, to track down uh, the origins of the title because I was doing titles in Kaipara Harbour and uh, for Manukau, Mohi Manukau which led to the land blocks in the city here on Queen Street with the church, the little church, the Methodist church and also other properties around here. I'm in real estate uh, previously doing Remura, Epsom and downtown Auckland here. So I've got a fair idea of how all of that works uh, to know enough about Crown titles, the difference between Crown titles direct from Britain and uh, normal Maori land titles from New South Wales government in Wellington. So you've got two different areas of titles going on here. The Queen and John Key government in Wellington and the New South Wales government is one of the same beast with the Maori Land Court titles. Um, uh, quite different from the King of England, which I am here representing King William IV direct to Westminster. Te Turi Whenua Maori Land Act is straight to Westminster. That's a contract. Everything I do, Simon and uh, James, is contracts. Commercial, land, levy contracts. Private is straight to Britain. Private contracts. Okay, that's my field of expertise here on this land block that uh, you've bought, not knowing, not being told uh, uh, who the original title holders are. They are not Ngāti Whātua Ōraki, Hapu here, or the Iwi, I've talked about the Iwi, are not the right owners. I've had a battle with them and with Mohi Manukau and the Waitangi Tribunal for a long, long time, since 2000, okay? And the foreshore seabed and all of that. They totally ignored us. This is Tiwana Tibul, got a bone for you, you're going to lose everything because you at Ngāti Pro was the CEO at that time with Joe Hawke, okay? You guys were playing havoc with me and Mohi Manukau and Ross Hona Kafaru, the real Kafaru of this plaque up One Tree Hill that we were prevented from going up there to claim the title of Auckland back to the Kafaru, the Manukau title holders. Okay, the first titles from Britain is the Manukau Land Company, Glasgow. Okay. So that's the title I'm talking about here, Simon and, and James. You should both know because you've got property around the place with car parks 
and but you guys are ignorant just as much as uh, Jamie Peters who had this block of land, this land we are met on Tapora Street and Doug Rickard Bell in the same property developers scarfing off this land around here and I know these lands inside out of the origins of the right tribes, the Manukau tribesmen at Puponga, Cornwallis, okay, all those names, Cornwallis and Simon and all of those, Brown, Campbell, those are all the names that came off the ships there, okay, so the British, when they first came here, they came and bought bushland for those immigrants, just the land we're talking about. Bush, they sold, not surveyed, right? These lands were not surveyed. So their surveyor titles were corrupted on their title, okay? Don Grant, James, he came from Australia just then, right? 2008. Linz gave him a job to get around that title because that title was going to hold up all their government in Wellington, New South Wales titles, because they're playing around with British titles here. I'm here for the King, right? The Queen is gone now, out of Westminster. She's gone like a Nazi German, right straight to the European Union, European Union Parliament, okay? She's taken off with our trust from this country, our Moai, Hapu, trust, not Iwi, not Maori. Okay, because there were no Maoris around at 1835-1840. There was only Hapu. You see, so you can rub that Iwi name right off the land blocks here, because that's been made up, Simon and James, by the government in Wellington. <coughs> okay, no such thing as Iwi, right? You can write that right out of the books, because I'm telling you, I'm in charge here for the King of England. Okay? I've been nominated for the King of England. You know what I did? Took the job on. Okay? I'm going to Westminster to sort that lot out. Okay? There's 600 uh, plus lords that have been booted out. Right? Now, I've just been speaking to Sue Nikora. Right? She's the most proficient Maori woman here in this country that knows more about these land titles than anybody. Right? She rang me up, coming up from flying on a helicopter, straight up to Waitangi, finished this lot off. Right? I'm in charge here of these lands, for goodness sake. Uh, uh, the police uh, know now. I've been up there to see Gary Davy. He's the uh, detective inspector. Right? He's a lawyer before, see? So he's going to have to know more than me if he can know more about properties and especially organic titles of the origins of whose land this was in the first place. It certainly wasn't anybody else if they're not talking about the British titles that confiscated all the New South Wales titles here from north, right? You forget about those ones because they confiscated them and they reissued them here in Auckland. Right? That's why there are several things in these titles. If you know as much as I do, or more than me, you will know what I'm talking about. Because we're going to, I'm the investigator here and the private prosecutor of all these lands in Auckland. Gary, uh, 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 James and Simon. I'm here to investigate every title in Auckland after that one, okay? So there's no need for you to put up a fight or, or try to go to the lawyers because there's nothing they can do about it. They will never, ever get past the Admiralty Court Martial Law, which is what I'm exercising here, because of no Queen. You've got no sovereignty with the Queen gone. That's legal, right? But the king defaults back to the king of England. That's how you manage to go on this land. It's because King William IV is the only king in the world that put the conveyancing instruments of mortgage together 
to get you here on these lands. Okay, Australia and Canada and America and New Zealand. Right? You got here on that ticket. Okay? No, no else. You can forget about any other title instrument because I'm in charge of them here. Okay, that's what I'm telling you. Don't fool around with Maui because that's the memorial standing here in the museum. That's that's Maui statue that's standing in London. Yeah? Standing on the beach in Wellington. And standing down in Dunedin. Those are titles, memorials to these lands. So don't argue with that. Don't argue. That title you've got, okay? We're going to seize it. So in this letter, I'm going to email it to you, then drop it to you in person, right? When this goes to you, that's it. It's effective from when I email it to you to tell you that you have to vacate the land. You're better off to walk the other way because you're not in a contract with me yet, right? And this is what Aaron Pascoe said because he's the criminal. Uh, uh, he's, the, he's the senior detective sergeant uh, of the criminal investigation uh, unit uh, um, of the Auckland Police Force. Okay, he's the one that put the raids together at Tuhoi and then they had to go and pay them out because they made a mistake here. Yeah, ain't gonna make a mistake in front of me, James Brown and Simon Roundtree, because <clears throat> if you ring the police up, that's what I told the police, if you ring the police up, you're going to drag them in, the 15,000 police into this contract. This is a contract, I'm telling you, I mean it. This is a contract. If you ring them up to come and help you, they ain't going to help you because you're stuck with me, okay? You're stuck with me. You'll have to go back to your lawyer who did the conveyancing, right? And uh, Mark Hornerbrook and uh, 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 McDonald. Andrew McDonald was the lawyers for uh, 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 Peters, uh, Jamie Peters, okay? Jamie Peters gave me the titles, okay? He gave me the titles to investigate for him because I said to him, I'll fix it up, right? And then when I got into it, he suddenly realised I was investigating him. Okay? Because it led me to him when I say, where did you get it from? I say, well, where did you get it from? So, in the end, they got it from the Iwis. Right? They got it. They're not Manukau's. The title got Manukau's name on it. Even the birth certificate, 1830. Okay? 18, that's the title. 1830 birth certificate is title. No one in this country has a birth certificate like that. Okay? Only the Rogans and the Manukau's and the Wanors, because the Rogans were the judges here in the Kaipara. Right? All these lands came from the Kaipara. So if any of these Ngāti Whātuas start arguing with me, it's going to end up in the court. Right? And Rogans is my family down the East Coast. Okay? Dick Rogan over there, married Uraiti Wanoa, right? And they put the Maryland courts, all that courts down there started all these titles here in Gisborne. Okay? So those are through my family down there. And Mohi Manukau's family here in Auckland and in the Kaipara. That's it. You can't get around past that. There is no other titles hooked with this flame and King William. This is a bank trading mortgage lien flag seal, okay? The authenticated seal of King William on his horse and his ship. You won't find a paddle in that lot, is what you got on this land block. It's got a paddle, James and Simon. There's nothing in it. It doesn't attach itself to anybody in Britain where they got the idea from, the lawyers. I was there watching all the lawyers from Australia come here and figured out they're going to take a half of the ocean that way and this way from Australia. No, no, you can forget all of that lot because I'm King of England. 
okay, in the absence of the Queen, have gone to take his place, the King of England, King's Bench Court, online, on Facebook, that's a real court, okay, because the High Court of Admiralty, court in London, does its business. It specialises in big cases like this, okay, in the millions and the billions, right, of fraud, blue collar fraud, and this is one of them, blue collar. Uh, uh, Judith Collins, today on the news tonight, Simon and James, she's caught. That's another crook. Police minister. Now it's no different to this uh, 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 Attorney General, Chris Finlayson. He's tied up in this, James. He's tied up in this. He signed it off. He helped to crooked this title. That's what I'm saying. Him, Don Grant, I think I'm going to name them. When I name them and put them in the box, don't get your name in the box. Because that's the court box. It's stuck there. They cannot remove their names or their photos from the box because the British tell them don't touch it. Okay? That's our partners. The British government, not the Crown, the British government. Alex Salmon, he's getting his independence back. That's our partner. Okay? I'm encouraging him to go on his own and boot the Westminster crooked fraudsters out and this lot over here all the royal families out the queen and all her royal families and prince charlie out prince william prince harry out uh, david cameron philip hammond out because they're crooks for the queen the queen is an enemy of britain okay britain's on its own split now because of the crooked German that's gone and fleeced everybody there, fleeced everybody in the, in the, in the uh, uh, Commonwealth countries and fleeced everybody here. You ain't fleecing no more because it's in these contracts now. I'm doing commercial, private contracts, okay? So at the moment, James and Simon, you're not in a contract with me. Right? If you walk the other way, go back to your lawyer, okay, and get your money back. That's not my problem. You go back and get your money and clear off the land because the elite investigators is ready to go in to seize the place and we reoccupy our land because you've got no more queen to put the money in to pay for the occupation of the land. All these lands in New Zealand are occupied and the money from the occupation is collected by the Treasury and sent to the Queen to pay for your use of the land. That's my responsibility now. I'm here taken over as the trustee and creditor of the King's Bench Court. Okay? You got that? Got that? And now, Chiefs up at Titi Moroi. They're going to fly the helicopter up there and pick me up and we're off up there to finish this off while the elections are on. Okay? And they're waiting for me and Jamie Patrick Stewart Natai in Westminster. Over there. Okay? They're waiting for us to go there. We won't go there until we clear this land block up because that land block clears the whole Commonwealth. I'm there for the whole Commonwealth and King William, who's been screwed by Prince Andrew, okay? He got rid of his uh, uh, video of YouTube. Why? Because he was talking about this flag, free passage, Commonwealth, business for Britain. And no, no, he wasn't doing it for Britain. He was doing it for Germany and the EU and the Vatican. He was not doing it for Britain. Okay, so all that money that's missing, all that money, I'm going to build the whole lot of you back and print the pound note up. We've got our own pound note. You look on site, you'll see it. The Moai pound note. And the British pound note. 
from the Bank of England, we're going to seize that as well. Okay? We're going to seize things back to make up for all that's been stolen. Same with this land and everything that's been stolen by this lot and Judith Collins and a few more crooked ones in there. We're going to boot them all now. Well, after I get this thing sorted out, I'm going to boot them out. Okay? Just telling you, Simon, <coughs> that I'm taking that land back because in the little church where the Methodist church was, and they've got those buildings there now, um, I'll be after that one too because Mohi Manikau got booted off there. Okay? He was told to get off the street because he was on the street with his daughter Rita selling their little wares and they got told they're putting the Chinese out of business. Huh? I, guess, I know. I know all, every, every of these Nazi fathers here. They'll get a boot too. Right? They'll be paying rent, ground rent, to the King of England. Okay? The King of England. Right? And so you will get this. You will get this uh, tomorrow. And then I'll be down on Monday. And then the debt collectors will be in. The police already knows about this letter. And so I just want to let you know in this video that um, uh, uh, you've got... Okay, here we go. You've got uh, Robert Muir. Land Register General, he forged the title transfer. Okay? Then you've got Robert Andrew. This is the crown I'm talking about. This is 60, 61 Cook Street. Robert Andrew altered the uh, land survey title to make the investors, there's 11 of them, and their 300 million was dumped into the road, the little road going through that block of land, 2.8 hectares. The little road going through there, that's a council road. You're not supposed to sell that because the New Zealand Maori Council has rights to all the roads. Okay? They're supposed to know. They didn't even know. I tried to tell them. It went in one ear and out the other. You see? They don't know land titles. Anyway, you've got Robert Muir and then you've got Don Grant. He's in trouble because he forged Sutherland's signature. I saw it. Sutherland's signature and stuck it on the road and made it a fresh title. Right? The redundant road was sold as one title inside before uh, uh, Peters, Jamie Peters, bought that property. Okay? He bought a cheap, 30 million or something. And it was sold for 38 million. They got it for a song. <coughs> Doug Rickard Bell got it for a song. He's Sold it for about 300 million for that property. I know, I know properties. And so these guys put this title together and scarfed the 300 million off those investors and dumped them in the road and discharged the title. Our title was registered. We paid for the, the register our king. Okay? Default caveat, uh, and they rejected it. The land information in Hamilton rejected it because they said we had no interest in the land. These are the original owners had no interest in the land. That was that New South Wales government of Wellington talking, not the British. So I'm here speaking for the British now. It's my job to tell you what to do on that land line. Okay? So I'm saying because of the fraud. Because of the fraud transaction and those people I just said, right, and you've got the lawyers, two Hornerbrook lawyers and MacDonald, Andrew MacDonald and Mark Hornerbrook. Those are lawyers that sold that property. They are in trouble. They'll lose their homes, lose everything. Bailey's Real Estate, I warned them, don't sell it. I gave them a, uh, uh, I gave them a book with everything in it. Don't sell it. They sold it. They're going to lose all the business. They'll lose the whole lot of everything because it's linked. Every property that's linked to Doug Rickard Bell and James, uh, Jamie Peters, it'll link back. All those properties will lose the lot of them because we've got a big figure to fill the bill. Right? Big figure to fill the bill. And all the politicians, the whole lot of them, 
backdated to 1830, all the way through. Don't tell me what to do. That's the king talking and Moai statue. Okay, so we've got a memorial, a flag and a king. You haven't got a queen or anything because she's gone. She's a convicted, a defaulted, convicted uh, criminal felon in the world court. Right? That's what that's added up to. So everything that you still got the queen in the courts, right? You still got the queen. You're an accessory to her fraud. Okay, that's what I'm saying with this property. It's uh, it's been sold with her head on it, and it's linked to her fraud. It's a fraud because it's been reported in the news in the world court, and that's all there is to it. She's a fraud, and the whole family is getting caught pedophiles, right? The whole lot of them including Prince Philip, is a pedophile, okay? Her husband and her a murderer. Then no, there's enough information in Canada. It'll only take a monarch like me in my family, with the Maui statue, is a monarch family, right? To arrest another monarch. The citizen can't do that. HRH Jeffrey Foley, Lord High, Constable of uh, Magistrate of Law Hayden Castle, Wales. Now, I'll be on the phone with him tonight because he's a king of England, right? Wales. The original 600 AD, John Foley. Okay? That's his title. Now, just re establishing Wales, Scotland, and England back to what it was, and boot. The whole of the Rothschilds out, they'll lose all their money, they'll lose all their properties here, the Rothschilds will lose their property. Simon, Browntree, and James Brown, okay, your names are in all the history here because I've got it here in big books around the corner here, okay, I did all the treaty claims for the Manukau title, Why one to one right, big deal, big deal. Right, everything in it before you even had your nappies on. Okay? They've got the history here. I've got it. They left it with me. The chiefs left it with me. Then they die. Okay? And I'm going to make sure I keep their wish. And so, well, he wants his land back. Okay? He wants one tree hill back. Okay? Simon, he wants his land back. Well, he'll get his land back. Okay? This way. Well, sort it out with that. So I suggest you listen to me and walk the other way. Because if you interfere with this contract between me and Douglas Rickard Bell, you're going to get dragged into it. Just plain as business. It's business as usual. I'm in business for a long time in properties, okay, and buildings. And I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. The Rogans are in my family and the Cosgrove lawyers. Okay? The Rogans in Kuiper and the Rogans at the East Cape. Okay? So don't tell me how to do things on land and mortgages. This is a mortgage flag. This is a mortgage flag. The only one in the world. The most powerful flag in the world here in Auckland. Right? It's going to be fluttering around the place soon and no more crooked business like Judith Collins today. That's typical, typical fraud government. Okay? So I'll finish that all off because my word and these affidavits, right? This affidavit, every affidavit I've got on Facebook is admissible in the High Court of Admiralty in London. Okay? It goes straight through. Straight through. Two hour, two hour, two hour court cases. It specialises in two-hour court cases. You won't get past the first place. You won't get past that. So, affidavits, French Admiralty use affidavits as their Admiralty. Well, there's over 3,000 of this you've got to get past on Facebook. Okay? 3,000 of them. So, one of them is bad enough. If you can't refute this, you lose. Okay, you go. You'll never refute it. That's what I'm saying. You better walk the other way, otherwise you're going to lose everything. 
if you challenge it, you'll lose everything. You'll lose that property because I'm just telling you in public here today. Okay? I'm telling you, do not argue with Moai because Moai is the memorial statue to this earth planet in Auckland. Right? That's the title. That's the title. The statue standing. They put it there for a reason. They put it in Dunedin for a reason. Helen Clark put it on the beach in Wellington to claim the whole Pacific seabed title. Right? That's why I stuck it on the ground in 2004 to claim the Foreshore and Seabed Act. We're going to take that one too because all these statues were put in New York, Washington DC, uh, Singapore, here in New Zealand, Chile, Brussels, France, London, okay? put it all over the place like that to claim the title. That's why I said it's standing in London, the biggest one. I'm standing there, that's my title. That's my own one or title. Okay? All of those statues. And this one over here. That that I can talk to it. Because you can't you can't match it. None of anybody. Not even Nazi Fatu can match that. Let alone the money cows. Okay? You got those two titles on these lands that were not registered. The land register general wouldn't put our names on the title. Well, that's his mistake. That's his mistake. That's why you're going off that property. Because I have a right to reoccupy it and the tenants stay there and pay the rental to me. Okay? They pay the ground rental, not to the Queen because she's not going to get any more money after these elections have closed down and the government's closed, they're not going to get any more money out of these lands. Okay, I'm telling you right now, that land block equals a whole lot of the Commonwealth countries and America with this flag of Admiralty because <coughs> the Vatican will be using this flag. That's why they hid it in the cupboard in Wellington in the cabinet. Right? And then they, where would you get your sovereignty from? You've got no sovereignty now because this is sovereignty flag. In Britain, right? In Britain. And we've got it over there now, flying over there. This flag is with Matt Taylor in Britain. In Brighton. Okay? He's our agent over there. He's got to put it up and we're off there to make this flag in Scotland put together in Wales, make the New England with all the pedophiles out and these blocks of land fixed up. I'm going to fix this land block up. And the rest of the ones down the East Coast, the same thing. The same crooks who are putting these titles together and screwing the people here in Auckland, right? We've got to rearrange the whole lot. So this, Simon and James, this is real. Don't take it lightly. You better go and you can ring the police up because they already know. You're wasting your time going there because they have no jurisdiction over what I do and what I say about land. Okay? They have no jurisdiction. They told me. Uh, Mike Clement, the area district commander, said he's not his jurisdiction. Peter Marshall, the police commissioner, left. He wouldn't even answer my letters like this. He would none of them refuted any of these documents. Now I can't see you refuting it. That's what I'm saying. Walk the other way and go and get your money back because they have got to give it back to you and the land register general Robert Miller he's going to get the gun he's going to lose everything because ALIT investigation is going to go after everything he's a UK detective okay and our lawyer down here uh, Yu Diet Choi is a QC right Queen's Bench notary who signed our documents that went straight past the front door Right? Straight past the marshals at the front, straight to the judge. Okay? Why? It's because I'm very important here as a King of England now because I've been nominated. And I said, okay, I do. Okay? Now, you'll get more sense out of that. And I'm picking the, the, the interest and the ground rentals up to make sure it goes in the King's Bench Trust as creditor, the King. Okay? And his members in, in, in his royal family and us 
his partner. Right? Where King William's uh, um, trading bank, commercial, private uh, uh, contract, business partners in the Bank of England. Okay? This flag. It's got all that. It's sealed, black sea on. Uh, uh, military. I'm bringing the military here to sort out everything. They're going to come down the East Coast and set the whole place up. And the police, well, they already know that. That they have to comply with the wishes of the king. Mm -hmm. They have to because they're only doing their job. I've already said to them, I'm doing my job. Okay, I have every right, legal right, legal right, to do what I do with land. Okay, I've been at it long enough, and I've, I've given it enough time, from 2009 right till now, so that people can look at what's happening with that land block. Okay, we've got a big project to go up on that, the East Coast, the Kaipara, everywhere. Really go. That money that the Queen Pinch is 500, five, uh, 750,000 metric tons, over over a million metric tons, I have heard today, from Karen Hudes, who tried to go and get it herself as a, as a World Bank uh, council, uh, council lawyer, uh, general, right? She tried to claim our trust and uh, failed when I put the, the, the um, uh, Shore Savile ship there with our flag. This flag is flying on the, on the Shore Savile ship, right? It's, it's flying on that ship, okay? There's a, you know, on the, on, on the uh, Pacific uh, 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 ship as well. There's another ship, Monarch, Pacific Monarch, right? Ocean Monarch, Ocean Monarch. It's, that's another one, uh, Prince Andrew. He's got, got his fingers all over it and got caught with the Queen and Queen of Spain, the trustees and the Queen head trustee of our trust. I'm taking the head trustee's job off the Queen. Okay, I'm the head trustee of all that gold trust fund of Queen Victoria, 1868, right? She took our Moai statue of Easter Island. That's when the sovereignty of America stopped and went to Britain. You see, that's what I'm in. Okay, it's a royal, royal family. My family's a royal family. Okay, but I don't, I don't want to go and, and make it any worse for you, uh, talking here like that on these lands. I have a right to be here talking like that on these lands. And this one here in Top, Top Water Street, right? I'm here, Jamie Peters, of everything he's touched, everything on these titles, I'm seizing. This land here too. Okay, I told him, I told him here. I told him here, I'm here for a reason. Right? I've been here over five years now in this building on... Tapora Street, number four, Tapora Street. Okay, so I'm going to investigate why Ngāti Whātua sold all his land when it don't belong to them. They can't prove. When we go to court, when I take them into the, we're going to put a court there on that 61 Cook Street. Okay, we're going to build the whole place up. We, we're going to do it. Me. I'm going to the engineer from Dubai, right here. Okay, he's ready to go there now and bang the thing up. End of East Cape. <coughs> okay, don't think. I'm fooling. No. We've got engineers. I'm on one, one, two. So, that's what I'm saying. With these, with these titles, uh, unfortunately for you, both you, you won't, you won't be losing any sleep because you have to uh, go and figure it out with land information. They know they made a mistake. They made a mistake. They caused the fraud because we're billing them five billion. Okay? That figure, five billion. That's before you even got there and bought the place. There was a figure on that bounty on the head from there. That's the spread amongst everybody who was involved with the fraud. Okay? It's gonna be split amongst the whole lot and the investigator, right, the private investigator, has to go and recover the whole full amount. I don't care how he gets it, right? So he's gonna take all the properties, everything from everybody linked to it. So don't get mixed up. In this profession, uh, uh, Simon and, and James, don't get mixed up with me because that's what's going to happen. You'll lose everything. We'll go after everything.
to make up. And it's no use going to the police because they got enough. Philip Taylor in the CIB in Oda who did a fraud case for me in London. Okay? And, and, and he's gone and passed the file over to Gary, uh, Gary Davy. Okay? The CIB here. So that's the end of it. He's a lawyer. He should know. But not every lawyer knows everything. You have to know more than just land titles. You have to know the flag. You have to know where you got here, how you got here, which authority, which jurisdiction, and which maritime, because all this does is goes right over the top of them. It goes over the maritime here. It goes over the admiralty of the paddle. There's no paddles in this lot. No. They've got a paddle without a bunk. That's what, Simon. You've got no sovereignty either. Right? The government here has got no sovereignty. It's got a going on a whim. Okay? That's what I'm going on about. So that you know that I mean business when we go and take that land. Because it's been going on too long. I've been told to get on with it. By Philip. He says, get on with it. What's the hold up? And I says, well, I'm just making sure. I'm making doubly sure that my tracks are covered and no one's going to get around this lot. There's all the holes are blocked up legally, blocked up. I've learned my lesson from what I've got ripped off by this lawyer in London and Lloyd's Bank. Right? Uh, uh, Martin Cicluna from the Lloyd's Bank and, and uh, Falconer, Julian Falconer. Julian N. Falconer from the lawyers. Okay? And this lawyer over here, uh, uh, Charles Herschel, said, yep, it's clear, go. Right? You see? The lawyer said, go. Right? And so I went on his word. Okay? But I've learned how to do lawyers without the lawyer. Now, I don't need a lawyer. I'm the lawyer. Okay? I'm the lawyer. And say I'm a lawyer, I do just as good a job as a lawyer. And judge. You know? And jury. Okay? All wrapped up in one. Okay? So that's what I'm going to say for the last time. Please, walk away. Walk away, just like the police already know, they walk away. They said, we don't want to get in contract with you, Mr. Wanoa. And so, Aaron Pascoe walked past on the video and said, hello. Well, that was enough to make me feel good, right? Because we're on this side, we're, 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 we need the police, right? I'm not knocking the police. I'm not knocking the police, just giving them a bit of a check -out. Just so long as they know we're here for doing a job. Okay? And they need a job. And I need a job as a private prosecutor. Okay? We do the whole court case. We don't go to the court because the judge hasn't got the information we've got. Right? He won't be able to do this case because it's not a King's Bench Court. There's a Queen's Bench Court. And there ain't no Queen there for this King Queen's Bench Court. You see what I mean? They have got no show uh, because this is the origins of Admiralty, not a Queen, not Prince Philip, not Jerry Mataparai, the Governor General. He's in trouble too. He's in trouble too. Okay? Uh, him and John Key. John Key opened the Parliament up when we said no, shut it. You see? They opened it up without a Queen when there was a, when she signed the Lisbon Treaty on the 16th of July, 2008. That's when all the trouble started. And that's when Judith Collins started to get mischief. Yeah? When they, they changed the law and said, oh, we, we, we have to take away the, the, the Constables Act because we, they had no authority to jurisdiction in court cases. They quickly changed it so they won't get sued. They're going to get done out because we already got it on affidavits before the Queen signed the Lisbon Treaty and after. So it's too late. We're going to bill Judith Collins. If she's going out, she'll still lose all her business and her milk and her husband. Going to lose all their business on this land. The Rothschild's going to lose all their business on this land. Faye Richard's going to lose all his business on this land. Everybody, Bailey's, everybody who's been crooking the system. We're going to collect their money up. I'll just tell Alec, go after that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. So, Simon Roundtree, James Brown, go the other way, okay? That's what I'm saying.
go the other way and find your money because we're going to walk in on that land and those tenants stay there because you're going to be better off with Maui. Okay? Things are going to change. Thank you very much, uh, John. Uh, uh, we're setting up and so we'll, we'll finish this off once and for all on Monday and next week. Um, sort, sort the whole lot out. Okay, before I'm going to Westminster. You're now meeting up here at Waitangi with the tribe, with the chiefs in Sunakora, up there. And then tell them, give me the mandate again, again, and down to the East Coast, have another mandate, and off to Westminster, finish this lot up. Right? Almost say John Key and his government and everybody in there won't be there. Okay? I'm just warning you, just before. I go anywhere else that we are ready to run our country back how it should have been under the flag. Under the flag, because John Key's getting rid of that flag. You know why? Because probably the British said, get rid of it. Well, that's probably why the British said, you made a mistake with Tuhoi in using Admiralty law and court martial's law in this country. You have no jurisdiction to practice what you did on Tuhoi tribe people using this flag or using other jurisdictions. This is the highest jurisdiction of these lands. Um, <coughs> you two, this flag is going to go up there on that block of land and you can see it for miles. Okay? Thank you very much. And see you later. Bye for now.